Uh, good morning, FCCM family. So glad I can be here with you this morning, uh, giving our weekly announcement video and, and devotion time. First announcement I wanted to bring to your attention is December 15th through the 16th is our Children's Overnighter. That's kindergarten through fifth grade. We'll come to the church um, at 8.30 on the 15th. Um, they'll spend the night, they'll be doing Christmas caroling, lots of fun events. Going to be an absolutely wonderful time hanging out with Kevin and his staff and his team. Um, just spending the night, hanging out together, playing all sorts of fun games. Next up is December 16th. We'll be having our 55 plus soup and movie event. The soup and dessert will be provided. It's going to be a great experience for 55 plus love to have you there with your families and friends both this event and the students children's overnighter event are last chances to sign up by december 10th so make sure that you're signed up for those events it's going to be a great time on december 20th is our young adults event it starts at 5 30. Um, it's going to be food fun make sure you wear a crazy sweater come ready to just rock and roll and have a great time with Nathan, our young adult minister. January 13th through February 17th is our upcoming K through third grade basketball camp. We would love to see a bunch of students get in here. Um, the first few weeks are focused on skills and training and growing in that area. The next couple weeks after that are all about the game time um, and just getting kids in the game, having a good time playing. The cost is $25 and we would love and really appreciate if everyone could be signed up by January 5th with your forms and payments turned into the office. On to our devotion time. Uh, this thought comes to you guys um, from James 5, verses 7 through 11. It says this, Be patient then, brothers, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, and how patient he is for the autumn and spring rains. You too, be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against each other, brothers, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Brothers, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. As you know, we consider blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. As I was reading this this morning, uh, the biggest thought that came to my mind is that oftentimes as we go through struggles in life, as we go through pain and, and trials and tribulations, we get lost in the little things. We lose focus of what's most important. But here it's telling us that if we stay steadfast, just as Job did through his trials and struggles, um, that, that God shows compassion and mercy in those moments, that he loves us more than anyone could ever desire, um, and that he is there to support us through it all. So as you go about your week, if you're going through struggles, if you're going through a tough time, through trials and tribulation, remember that God is there, that he is working and moving in ways that we couldn't even imagine, and stay steadfast and focused on him. Thanks everyone, have a great week.